Welcome back grounded guys and gals to another grounded video and today we're going to go over my best practices on how to obtain the speed droplet. Now, it used to be that you can obtain the speed droplet by befriending an aphid. Hello master, or hello too, that's one for the pet spots. I love you. Slowly beating it, healing it, and then eventually stealing that speed droplet that he's hidden up his butt. Unfortunately, the devs decided to change it, so now you have to go free range with your stealing of the speed droplet, and you have to go farm them up. So today we're going to be talking about how to find it and steal it. Now, I believe the best way to do this is to make traps around the map where aphids will walk naturally, they'll fall in, and then you can come by and beat them up until you can steal the speed droplet. As you can see from the map here, I'm doing a search for just raw aphid meat. There are a lot of places where they can spawn. Uh, but the problem with most of these areas is that they will walk around and they won't stay in one lo location. So if you put a trap here, they may not come around for a while, etc. Uh, but if you notice down here in the water, there's a lot of them. And guess what? They won't leave this island. They'll keep on respawning and keep walking back and forth on this island. So I think it's the best place to put traps. Now let's look at them. So on one part of the island, we have just a nice little rectangle here of clover roofs. Uh, some stem walls where the aphids can just walk in and get trapped. I have clear cut a lot of the uh, grass here so they don't actually run up the grass because when they see you coming, they will, of course, run away from you up the grass. Now, you can use the plant slurry to try to attract them in, but it looks like the range for them to actually eat the plant slurry has increased dramatically. Uh, I have bugs will ignore me at the moment so, so we can take a look here. So they won't actually activate. Oh, don't want to drop too many here. There you go. So I got two up there. And look, he's eating it from all the way down there. And of course, that's not what you want. Unless you want a whole bunch of these little memorials to your aphid, uh, you're not going to be able to use the plant slurry to actually attract them in there. Uh, I don't know if there's a higher range than that, but re realistically, this trap will work. They'll just wander in there naturally. If you do clear cut the area, they won't have any place to run. So they will naturally run into that as you're scaring them around. Uh, and getting them cornered. And to achieve your goal of getting that speed droplet, you'll have to equip Rouska Rogue Mutation. Uh, it comes in three phases, two, five, and 10% chance to steal one item. You get Rouska Rogue by going around the map and stealing the statues that are hidden throughout the map. Next up, we have Sticky Fingers, which does the exact same thing as Rouska Rogue, give you a chance to steal an item. So with both of these, you can steal two items. The Sticky Fingers Trinket is acquired from the North Yard Toolbox by using a bomb arrow on a specific piece of gum. And uh, because we're stealing, not looting, we're going to use our fists. No mutations on our fists to make them stronger or anything like that. We want to, these little guys to not die. Now with your mutation and trinket equipped, you can only steal two items per creature. So. It's up to you how you want to do this. You can just run through every once in a while and clear out the camp, see if you get it. You can beat them until you steal enough items and heal them in between with the heal bossa. Go ahead and clear them out or re reload a save. Up to you until you're actually able to get the trinket. Uh, just depends on how what you're doing in the game. So let's go ahead and see what we can get. Hey, yo, got it. Well, that wasn't too bad, actually. So I did use um, the heal bosses. I had about like 10 or 15 of them. And after about, I want to know, like five minutes, had it. Pretty easy. Just chase them around, bash them in the butts a little bit, heal them up. Easy. So this one trap on this part of the island was more than enough to get the speed droplet. The d density of aphids on this island is just remarkable. And a lot of them were able to fall in and give me enough of a sample size to be able to beat them, heal them, and steal from them without too much trouble. I think I used about 10 heal bosses. It took me five to 10 minutes. It was easy peasy. And if, as you can tell, no aphids were harmed. Look, they're all so happy. Uh, they're all living their best life now. So uh, please don't call PETA. So that's how you get that speed droplet. So if you- Mom, mommy. Why? Mama, um, uh, ma. Hi. <laughs> If you liked what you saw, hit me with that like down below. And if you want to see more, hit me with that subscribe. And until next time, bye. Stop.